So it's not 100% normal, but every once in a while, I do like to take some challenges and show them to you so that you can actually have an idea as to how risky it is, but how profitable binary options can be if you do them right. So in this specific video, I'm actually showing you a challenge that I did taking $800 all the way to $10,000 in less than three hours. So if you wanna check that out, make sure you stay up until the end of this video. Hi everyone, this is Christian here on YouTube and welcome to a brand new video for the channel. In today's video, we're taking $800 all the way to $10,000 and of course, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. But hey, if you're new to my channel and you're into binary options, forex trading, crypto trading, or any type, of making money online, then this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and activate the notifications bell icon so that you get a notification of every new video that I upload. But in addition, make sure that you actually join me on my social media. We have a free Telegram channel where we provide with free signals every day. We also have a Facebook group that is 100% free that you can get free updates every day. And of course, you got my Instagram account so that you can follow me and be part of my day-to-day -day activities. The links are in the description of this video. So if you want to be part of my inner circle, there's the invitation. With that being said, let's jump into the video. Okay, so I wanna start this video by telling you why do I think it's like the best broker for this specific strategy, okay? I'm going to show you exactly how I completed my challenge, but I want you to fully understand which one I consider to be the best broker for this specific strategy. And the best broker that I consider for this strategy is this one right here called Quotex. Now, Quotex is a worldwide accepted binary options broker that basically includes the US, India, Canada, and every single country out there that you can actually um, pretty much think of at least the majority of the country, 99% of the countries, I would say they're accepted and it is 100% trusted. It's the broker that I've been using throughout the entire 2021, making withdrawals, making everything. As a matter of fact, right now in the next video, I'm going to have a withdrawal request and I'm going to show you a new challenge, but basically you get the idea as to what is it that I'm telling you, right? So the link is in the description of this video. You can get a free demo account at no initial deposit whatsoever and the minimum deposit once you're ready is actually as long as ten dollars so if you want to be part of this specific broker and have similar results to the ones that I'm actually having right now this is the broker that you should use the link is in the description of this video all right everyone so I want to start by telling you the strategy settings of this specific strategy so that you have a full a full idea as to what is it that you need to do. This is a strategy, com uh, this is a combination of two different indicators and it's a one minute strategy. The first thing that you gotta do is actually change your candlestick time frame to 30 seconds. As you can see, it's 30S right here. So you change it to 30 seconds and now we're gonna add a couple of indicators. Number one, it's called stochastic oscillator. And on this one, all you need to do is change this to 80 and this one reduce it to 20. The overbought level is gonna be at 80 and the oversold is gonna be at 20. There you go. You can even extend it a little bit so you can see the entire settings. And the second indicator that you're gonna use is actually this one called RSI. This one you leave it as default and no problem at all. You can just drag it as well in order to see a better view. So what is it that you're going to do with this specific strategy? You're gonna wait for an overbought and oversold condition in the pair in order to enter a one minute transaction. Remember, every single candlestick is actually with a lifetime of 30 seconds. So you're basically gonna be trading for two candlesticks. So what you need to do is wait up until the stochastic oscillator is below this 20 level and the RSI is either touching or below this 30 level. As simple as that. Once that happens, then you enter a one minute trade just like I did exactly right now, okay? I entered with $1 because I was actually doing some testing back in a previous video and I set up for $1 entry points, but I'm about to show you exactly how is it that I did in order to get $800 all the way to $10,000 in less than three hours, okay? But basically these are the strategy settings. 
So we actually want this specific position. It's not a biggie. I mean, it's just $1, but right now it's actually time for me to show you the first set of light trades that I'm going to actually show you. I'm not going to comment during those uh, light trades because it will, the video will be like forever. So I just want you to take a look at them. They're going to speed, they're going to be speed up a little bit, but it's all going to be worth it. Try to make sure you can even reduce the speed on the actual, uh, YouTube video so that you can see it slowly, even though I don't think that's going to be that big a deal, but you're going to see my entry points and you're going to understand exactly what I meant with these specific settings. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first life trades.
All right, so now you've actually seen my first live trades and it's time for me to teach you what I do, one I, I consider to be the best entry points. And the best entry points are going to be a combination of two things. Number one, that the RSI is actually touching this level, this level right here. Once it touches, that is a good entry point, which it would be this candle right here, this pick right here. So you can see that I usually in my live trades, I waited for like the highest pick. If, it's one of, if, if it, it was going to be a put position, I waited for the highest pick. And then if it was going to be a call, I waited for the lowest drop, as you can see. Why? Because that way, with, with the, that high pick, I, that pick, I have a lot of more chances to actually have this trade to actually drop. And the exact same thing right here. Once it drops really hard, it is actually way easier that the price is going to start jumping, okay? So I take advantage of those hard drops and high jumps in order for me to actually enter. And the second best way to actually enter is at the beginning of a candlestick. As you can see, there is a timer next to the actual candlesticks in this broker. So they basically determine the life that is left on that specific candlestick. So as you can see right now, it says 11, uh, 10, 9, 8. This, these are the seconds left for this candle to expire. So if I were to enter in this position, I would enter exactly, boom, right now. Why? Because the next candle actually started to get formed. And as you can see, the timing, the timer actually got reset it. Okay, so those are the best entry points for this strategy. Another thing that I wanna cover in this video is the money management. Even though this is actually gonna be a contradiction as to what I did with my specific challenge. And the reason why is because, let me just go ahead and get into my actual trades. And we're gonna see the ones that I actually place. As you can see, I place a thousand dollar trades most of the time, because a thousand is actually like the highest uh, trading amount for this specific broker, then uh, $750, then I place a hundred dollars, 40 something dollars, uh, 30 something dollars, $400, four, uh, $200, $1,000. And this was not the actual 5% of my balance. And the reason why is simply because I was doing this challenge. But since you're not going to be doing this challenge on a daily basis, I highly recommend you to stick to one to 2% of your balance on every single trade. And the reason is very simple. You will have sometimes multiple entries with this specific strategy. Whenever you actually enter on a spike on this pair, for instance, you enter at this level, but it continues to jump, then you can enter again at the highest level. Why? Because that way you're gonna be more chance. You're gonna have more chances to actually have the price drop, and more importantly, you're not gonna lose that much money. Because if you end up winning three positions of one percent and losing one, you still make profit out of it. Does that make sense? So money management, I would say one to two percent of your balance on every single trade and place no more than 10 positions with this specific strategy. Since you're gonna be trading with one or 2% of your balance, 10 trades will be no more than 10% risk that you're gonna be putting in. And of course, if you end up losing three or more positions, then you should stop for the day, okay? If you follow that plan, trust me, you're gonna be good to go. And I know I'm gonna get this question a lot and which are the best times to trade. So the best times to trade actually depend. Right now I'm actually looking at my economic calendar and I do realize that there were three bull news around 20 minutes ago or 30 minutes ago. So therefore I would stay away from USD pairs, okay? But there isn't really the best time to trade as much as there is a actual good payout. So what I mean by that is that whenever you actually take a look at the pairs right here, and it says rep share uh, for, from one minute and less, it's actually going to be this payout right here, 89%, 89%. Right now it's pretty much equally, but you can take a look at this GBP CAD pair. It says 82%, but more than five minutes is actually 76%. So what I mean by this is choose the pairs with the biggest payout and the time of the trade doesn't really matter. I usually trade, if you ask me, I usually trade from uh, six GMT 
no, I'm sorry, 12 GMT all the way to 18 GMT or 19 GMT at the most. Those are my times to trade. But you can trade at any time as long as you avoid three bull news and as long as you choose the best payout in the pairs. Okay, so it's actually time for me to show you the last clips of the live trades that I placed and how I was able to get to 10 grand. So grab a snack, grab a drink or something, and let's go ahead and take a look at the last few trades.
Beautiful. So now that you've actually seen those live trades, I just want to say thank you for staying up until the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content of it, make sure you smash the like button. And if you want me to continue uh, doing challenges just like this one, make sure you leave them in the comment section below and I'll be glad to actually keep on making these entertainment videos because I don't highly recommend you to do this. But if you want to do the exact same challenge, I'm actually about to start right now a challenge from $10 all the way to $5,000 and see if I can do it today. So hey, if you enjoyed the content of this video, you know what to do, smash the like button. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you wanna see more videos just like this one, hit that subscribe button below. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.